Hey, are you an intermediate player looking to improve at chess and you like using books? Today we're going to go over the top five chess books for intermediate players and we're going to start with the most important and work our way down to the least important. So book number one that I recommend, it's a series. Yusupov's Build Up Your Chess 1, The Fundamentals. This is the first book in the series. There's nine parts to these books. How the books are laid out. You have 24 chapters, so here's a look at all the chapters. Each chapter goes through a description, so it'll talk about, for example, simple pawn endgames or double check. And there will be a few pages with examples, diagrams that talk you through how does the concept work. So you work through those diagrams. It might take close to an hour to work through all the examples. Then the next thing they do is they have an exam. So at the end of every chapter there's exercises, a short exam, and it's 12 questions. And then you grade yourself, you get points for each question. And what you do at the end is you see if you got a passing score or not. So there's a scoring section, it talks about if you passed or not, excellent, good, passing mark. And if you don't pass, you go back and kind of reread the chapter, or maybe find other resources on a similar topic. So the reason I really like this book is because for approximately $30, you essentially have a chess coach that's helping you figure out what should you be studying next. So it's a very cheap way to have a structured study plan. Also, the books grow with you. So it's a series of nine or 10 books. Uh, the 10th one is new. But essentially, as you improve your rating, you can just keep getting the next book. And the books will transition. So like in the beginning, uh, quite a few of the books talk about basic checkmates and basic tactics. And then as you go, they transition to, okay, here's more complicated checkmates, more complicated tactics. Now we're going to sprinkle in some end games, and we're going to sprinkle in some strategy. And then as you get to like the level uh, four or five, all of a sudden that shift from tactics starts to go more towards strategy. And then we realize, okay, now we don't need to know all those tactical ideas. We already kind of know the basic tactics. Let's talk more about strategic play and how to set up those tactics for our games. So top recommendation, Yusupov series, Build Up Your Chess 1. This is the first book. Um, on the Chess Goals webpage, we have it go on there and search for Yusupov. So chessgoals.com, search Yusupov you will find a page where we talk about all the books. So that's the first recommendation. The second recommendation, I don't own the physical book. I have it on Chessable, but I do have two other books by the same author. It's called The Woodpecker Method. So this book is E3 Poison by Axel Smith. The Woodpecker Method is also by Axel Smith, and it's got a bright yellow cover like this, yellowish orange, but essentially, what the woodpecker method does, it gives you checkmate puzzles from mostly world championship games, and they're ordered approximately based on how difficult the puzzles are. So they have like a beginner section, an intermediate section, and an advanced section. But the real value from the woodpecker book comes not from the puzzles themselves, but the method of solving, um, which is called the woodpecker method. So essentially what the woodpecker method is, you go through a list of puzzles. Let's say you can do like a hundred puzzles from, a, from any book um, pretty quickly. You do those hundred puzzles, you track how many you got correct, how many you got wrong. So you have like a percent correct. So maybe you get 90 out of 100 the first time. And then track how long it took you. So maybe you did 90 out of 100 and it took you five minutes. The next time you go through and you go do those exact same 100 puzzles, maybe you get 94 out of 100, and it takes you 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Then you do it again. Maybe you get 97 out of 100, and it takes you 3.5 minutes. But what happens is over time you get faster and faster. All of those tactics start to become automatic. So what you're trying to do is you build your chess tactical intuition. Um, so. The woodpecker method is very powerful. I do recommend it on Chessable um, because the nice thing about Chessable is you can do the puzzles on there as well and you can train with the woodpecker method on Chessable. 
Um, but if you buy the physical book, you can use the diagrams as well. So if you like studying with books, there's definitely nothing wrong with using the book. And again, this is like a $30 book. It'll last you a long time. So definitely worth it. So book number one was Yusupov, which is kind of guides you as your coach. Book number two, The Woodpecker Method. That'll help work on your tactics and make them more automatic. Now let's move into book number three. This is a classic. Some people love it. Some people are not huge fans of the author's uh, writing style. But I highly recommend it. How to Reassess Your Chess, 4th edition. You want to get the 4th edition because it's all computer checked. Silman went through the examples, made sure that they're all good. This book is really like the strategy bible for intermediate players. Um, it highlights imbalances. Imbalances are the way that I think about every chess position, and I think a lot of titled players definitely focus on the imbalances and use that as a way to beat players, let's say, below 2200. You want to use imbalances to improve your position to set you up for the tactics that are coming. So book number three, highly recommend How to Reassess Your Chess by Jeremy Silman. Book number four, also Jeremy Silman. And there's a couple other substitutes for this book if you don't have this one. But Silman's Complete Endgame Course from Beginner to Master. This is going to teach you the endgame basics. One thing I really like about this book is the parts are separated based on your rating. So part one is for endgames for players up to 1000 rating. Part two is up to 1200, then up to 1400, and so on. So it tells you these are the fundamental endgames that you must know at each of those rating bands. So what you can do is just work on your endgames up to your rating band, and then I like to recommend maybe going one rating band higher. And just make sure that you always have those puzzles down for your own rating, plus maybe 200 points, so one section higher. And if you don't have this book, or if you have another endgame book you like, um, endgame books are definitely something where you could substitute in a, a different book and still get most of the same benefits. Um, Deveretsky has a really good endgame course as well. It gets a lot more complicated, but he does have like highlighted puzzles that you must know. And also the um, book 100 Endgames You Must Know, that's also a very good one, and it's become popular as of late uh, thanks to Chessable. But these I would recommend having the physical book over purchasing them on an online course. You know, I think with an endgame book, it's really nice to set it up on a physical board, work through them with a the book, take them very seriously, practice your calculation, and if you're interested at all in improving an over-the-board chess, definitely use your endgame training with a physical 3D chess set. All right, so that's four books. We've given you a book that gives you a coach, Yusupov. We've given you a tactics book, Woodpecker Method. We've given you an endgame book, Silman's Reassess Your Chess. And, sorry, strategy book, Silman Reassess Your Chess. And an endgame book, Silman's Complete Endgame Course. That's the first four books. The fifth book is actually a series of books. So here we're going to talk about openings. Less important than the other four, four books we talked about. But one opening book series that I really personally like is the Move by Move series. This example is from John M's, the Sicilian Taimanov. The reason the Move by Move series is so good is it's geared towards club level players. And what they'll do is they'll highlight important concepts, they'll put them in kind of gray boxes, and they'll ask you questions. So you have to actually think about the questions. Like, okay, what would you do here if the opponent played a certain move? Or what's a strategic concept in this position? So they really get you thinking. Um, and then also, they play through full games. So it's not like some opening courses where maybe they stop at move 15, you don't know what to do next. They'll play you all the way through the end of the game. Right, so you can see here, this goes all the way through the end of the game. Move 18, when black finally won doesn't quite focus on that perfectly, but these are complete games of players where they talk through almost every single move has some sort of text. And then the question and answer format gets you thinking critically. So 
what I recommend doing is taking one of your openings that you like to play and purchasing one book, one move by move book. Work through that slowly a little bit each week or as you review your games and you have certain opening lines that come up that you know that are covered in the book, then go back and check. All right, so to recap, we have Yusupov series. That's going to serve as your coach. He's going to teach you mating patterns, tactics, strategy, some end games, also later on some openings. So he'll really guide you as your rating improves. Number two, we have the woodpecker method. Um, you can use any tactics book here for number two, but learn the woodpecker method. So figure out a resource online, find out people that know the woodpecker method, talk through it because using the woodpecker method is really the key here. Um, number three, we have Silman's Reassess Your Chess. That's going to be your strategy book. That's going to teach you about imbalances, and that's going to help you outplay club-level players. And then book number four, we have Silman's Endgame Course. Those are the endgames broken up into rating bands. Really good book. And number five is the Move by Move series. Only buy one book at a time. You don't need to buy five opening books. I'm not recommending that. Just start with one, an opening book on one of the openings that you like. So, for example, Sicilian Taimanov could be the book you buy if you play that as black. So those are my five top books for intermediate players. Please let me know what you think in the description. Uh, if you agree with me, if you have any other books that you like, I'd love to hear about them. If you enjoyed this content, please give the video a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And let your friends know about the Chess Goals channel. We're a chess improvement channel, um, really trying to get the word out, helping people improve on chess. We have chess study plans. We have some courses on our website. We have a blog. So check out chessgoals.com for more information. And I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you in the next video.